Yes, and the 20 year old serial murderer is eligible for death or life without the possibility of parole. Orange County DA Todd Spitzer just announced a couple of minutes ago the charges and say that he had no doubt in his mind that many more innocent people would have lost their lives. Frankly, they, he says the suspect had no fear and no regard for human life. Pat is a stone cold serial killer. There's no other way to describe him. He executed innocent people and he shot others. And his behavior and the crime spree he engaged in is literally, I just got chills up my own spine. It's chilling. I've been doing this work for over three decades and to see somebody who could just kill people in cold blood like this is, it, it, it's just unfathomable. In the press conference that just ended with half a dozen law enforcement agencies, Spitzer announced the charges. So Malik Pat is charged with several special circumstance murder charges, as well as several robbery charges and carjacking. Investigators say he's responsible for half a dozen robberies and shootings in multiple counties at the 7-Elevens in the early morning hours of July 11th or 7-Eleven. They also believe he's responsible for at least one donut shop robbery and the murder of a homeless man in L.A. a couple of days later. His accomplice and neighbor Jason Payne charged with several counts of robbery. In total, three people lost their lives, several others injured, one in Riverside currently in grave condition. They were arrested Friday in a joint effort by law enforcement. Prior to the suspect arrest, the Burley Robbery Task Force conducted hundreds of hours of surveillance intelligence gathering with and for the Orange County ATF Violent Crimes Task Force. These two task force worked nearly nonstop into the early morning hours throughout Southern California until the arrests were made on Friday afternoon. Pat, the 20-year-old, has no criminal history. Payne does have a criminal history, but it dates back a while ago, and the DA says it's nothing serious. The two will be formally charged tomorrow. Reporting live in Santa Ana, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. All right, Haley, thanks so much.